Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at an application of a matrices. We're learning how to write equations of parabolas and standard form. So right here we have the equation ax plus squared plus bx plus c is equal to y. That's the equation of a parabola in standard form. Now, to write the equation, we have to be given three points. So we're given three points. Three points are negative 3, 95, 1, negative 13, and 4, 32. The first thing we're going to do is write a system of equations using our standard form. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take each ordered pair, an x and a y, and plug it in. So I'm going to take this first one, negative 3, 95, and plug it in. Well, we're going to plug in negative 3 for x right here and here, and 95 right here for y. So we're going to have a times the quantity, negative 3 squared, plus b times the quantity, just negative 3, plus c is equal to y. Well, y in this case is 95, so we're going to put a 95 in here. Now let's clean that up just a little bit, and that's going to give us 9a minus 3b plus c is equal to 95. Okay, and that's our first equation. We're going to do the same thing with negative 1, or 1 and negative 13. Well, 1 is easy because 1 squared is 1 and plug in 1. So really the second equation is simple. It's just a plus b plus c, because we're plugging in 1, is equal to negative 13. Now the last one, we're going to plug in 4 for x and 32 for y. So 4 right here, 4 squared is 16, so that's going to give us a 16a plus a 4b as we're plugging in 4 right here, plus c, and that's going to equal our y value, which is 32. So here is our system of equations. We have three variables, we have three equations, and we've done the first step, which is set up the system. Now from the system, we're going to set up a set of matrices, and these are called augmented matrices. The first set or the first matrix is going to represent our coefficients. So we're going to take all the coefficients to our variables. So we're going to have a 9, a negative 3, and a 1 on our first row. So 9, negative 3, and 1. Second one is a 1, 1, and a 1 because all the coefficients of the second equation are all 1. And then 16 and positive 4 and 1. Then we're going to take that and we're going to multiply it times our variable matrix. Well, our variables in this case are A, B, and C. So we're going to write an A in the first row, a B in the second row, and a C in the third row. So this column is our variables. And if you know how to multiply matrices, you know this row multiplies times this column so you can see how they all match up and is equal to the solutions matrix. And the solutions matrix is 95, negative 30, whoops, sorry about that, jump tell me, negative 13, and 32. And that's how we set up our matrices, our augment, I'm sorry, our augmented equation, or augmented matrices to set up the equation. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use our calculator. And we're going to put um, the coefficients in as matrix A, and we're going to put the solutions in as matrix B. So you're going to go to your calculator, you're going to hit second, x to the negative first, go over to edit, edit, I'm going to put mine in A, a 3 by 3, and I've already got this system in here. So you can just hit enter, enter, and then if you need to change your matrix, you would type the number like 9, and then hit enter, negative 3, enter, 1, enter, and enter your entire matrix. Okay, I've already got mine in there, so I'm going to quit and go back to the home screen, which is second and mode. And that just brings me back to this home screen. 
Then I'm going to do second and matrix. I'm going to put in my solutions. So let's look at the solutions. Those are 95, negative 13, and 32. So let's go over here to edit. I'm going to go down under matrix B. This is a three by one matrix, so hit enter. Uh, if you need to change your dimensions, you can change them right here. Mine's already three by one and it's already set up. Whoops, I did 31. Let's go back and change that. It's pretty easy. It's just three. I'll hit delete on that one. There we go. Enter. There we go. It's back to a three by one. And I've got all my information in matrix B. So I'm going to hit second and mode to quit and go back to the home screen. Now, to type this in, I'm going to take matrix A and I'm going to multiply it. And I've got it right here. I'm going to take the inverse of A times B. So I need to know how to do inverse on my matrix or on my calculator. So I'm going to first bring up the name A. So second matrix. I want to pull up matrix A. So I'm going to hit, once I get to here, I'm going to hit enter. And then I need that to be an inverse. So I'm going to raise it to the negative first power, then times and second matrix. Choose B this time. So I arrow down, hit enter, choose B, and hit enter one more time. And boom, those are my solutions. Positive 6, negative 15, and negative 4. So I now have my values for A, B, and C. So in my system, what I've done is I've multiplied this side by, actually I have to do it in this order, A inverse. So I ended up with 6, negative 15, and negative 4. So that's this right side. My left side is still equal to the matrix ABC. Because when I multiply A times, times its inverse, remember I just get the identity on this side. So each value here is a solution. So A is 6, B oops, is negative 15, and C is negative 4. Now, I'm really not finished. I have found my variables. But remember, we're trying to write the equation of a parabola in standard form. So I'm going to go back to my standard form and plug in A. A was 6, so 6x squared. B was negative 15, so plug in a negative 15. X, C is negative 4, and is equal to Y. Now we have it. This is the equation of a parabola in standard form using matrices. So find your three variables. Let's look at it one more time. Write your three, or find your three points. Make your three equations by plugging in X and Y. Then you're going to set up your augmented matrix. This is your coefficient matrix. Then you're going to set up your variable matrix. And then you're going to set up your solutions matrix. And then you just take A as your coefficient matrix and multiply it by B, your solutions matrix. And that gives you your solutions for a system. That will work with a not just a 3x3, three three, it will work with a 4x4 four four or even a 2x2. Two two. So there you go. I hope this video was helpful.